The Lord gave me this word, and it is in reference to the U.S., and you can find it on Isaiah 47. After I was done reading this word, the Lord put in my spirit that this is what's coming for the U.S. And it says, come down and sit in the dust, virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground without a throne, daughter of Chaldeans, for you will no longer be called tender and delicate. Take the milestones and grind flour. Remove your veil, strip off the skirt, uncover the leg, cross the rivers. Your nakedness will be uncovered. Your chain will also be exposed. I will take vengeance and I will not spare anyone. Our Redeemer, the Lord of armies, is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit silently and go into darkness, daughter of the Chaldeans, for you will no longer be called the Queen of Kingdoms. I was angry with my people. I profaned my heritage. I handed them over to you. You did not show mercy to them. On the age you made your yoke very heavy, yet you said, I will be a queen forever. These things you did not consider, nor remember the outcome of them. Now then, hear this, you luxurious one, who lives securely, who says in her heart, I am the one. I am and there is no one besides me. I will not sit as widow, nor know the loss of children. But these two things will come on you suddenly in one day, loss of children and widowhood. They will come on you in full measure, in spite of your many sorceries, in spite of the great power of your spells. You felt secure in your wickedness. You said, no one sees me. Your wisdom and knowledge, they have led you astray. For you have said in your heart, I am and there is no one besides me. But evil will come on you, which you will not know how to charm away, and disaster will fall on you, for which you cannot atone, and destruction about which you do not know will come on you suddenly. Persist now in your spells, and in your many sorceries, in which you have labored from your youth, Perhaps you will be able to benefit. Let now the astrologers, those who prophesy by the stars, those who predict by the new moons, stand up and save you from what will come up on you. Behold, they have become like stubble. Fire burns them. They cannot save themselves from the power of the flame. There will be no coal to warm by, nor a fire to sit before. So you have those become to you with whom you have labored, those who have done business with you from your youth. Each has wandered in his own way. There is no one to save you, says the Lord.